up guys, Higgsbo here bringing you today another video. Today we're going to be talking about a very special skill. Um, I'm going to be uh, putting the skill that we're going to be speaking about in the up in the screen. Um, and uh, you're also going to be able to see it on the uh, bottom uh, right hand corner of my screen. So this skill that we're going to be talking about, it's going to be the um, second option that you could get for a bow hunter. This video is going to be completely based on bow hunting, so um, if you're not a bow hunter, if you have no interest in bow hunting, this video is not going to interest you very much. That being said, this skill that I'm talking to you about is this perk right here, the windage, windage perk. As you can see, it says the ability to gauge lateral wind directions and speeds when in aim mode with any weapon. So. Pretty much, we're we're just brand new. We haven't touched it. We haven't used a a, a skill at all, and um, we're gonna go right ahead into it. So, uh, the difference between this skill and the other one is that this skill um, only allows you to see wind directions and wind speeds. The other one allowed you to do zeroing. So, essentially, you didn't need the three, four, five pin sights. You could just do it with a single pin sight and just change your zeroing. Which, um, when you switch to this, uh, to this skill, you're going to be able to see where, where the wind is going and how strong it is, allow, allowing you to compensate either left, right, depending on where the wind is going. Now, some of you might like the other skill better, others might like this one. The main reason why I uh, I wanted to check this skill out is because if any of you have seen my other uh, video, the albino video, I actually took a really bad shot because I did not know. Um, I knew how far it was uh, the the deal was for me. I just didn't know what kind of wins I had, so I tried to compensate for what I thought uh, was going to be happening, and ended up that pretty much had no wind. So I shot the arrow, and the arrow hit. In the incorrect place didn't get him in a vital hit so um, it wasn't a good shot however if I would have had this skill it would have been dead on so that being said I'm gonna teach you guys or I'm gonna show you guys pretty much what this skill does now I am let's get a little bit closer let's get about 20 meters away it's 21 meters away okay this is gonna be our this is gonna be our baseline right here um, right horizontal from uh from this uh this thing right here this is going to be our target right there so uh the way the skill works is you bring up your sights you put that pin there and you press f and as you can see is at 8 ms this is a horrible time for you to shoot anything between six seven eight nine it's a horrible wind um it's really bad and uh, I wouldn't recommend anybody to shoot like this. Um, 725. So it's it's pretty bad. I'm going to show you guys what happens when you shoot with this type of winds. And, um, and what kind of compensation. What kind of compensation you're going to have to uh, you're gonna have to do. So we're at 554 right now. Still pretty bad. So we're going to aim. Okay, so first of all, I've been doing extensive... Uh, training with this already so I know more or less where my compensation is but I'm gonna aim dead on so you guys can see how the wind shifts my arrow now that's six right there so I'm gonna aim right there and I was aiming dead for that arrow went to the side hit over here so at 20 meters my arrow shifted Tremendously. So, let's try that again at a, at a different windage. So we're at 20 meters or so again, and we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna pop up our sights, press F. We're at three. That's not too bad. And then we got it. We drilled it there. It's not a lot of wind. You can compensate very uh very minimal for it. Do it again, it's at 3 again, so... And then we drilled it again there. We're gonna do it again. 
It's at two now, so a little bit less compensation. And one more time. One more time. One. So we pretty much drilled it there at 20 meters. 173. It's not too bad either. And final one, 229. And we drilled it pretty much. So between one and two, you're pretty much going to get dead on groupings. As you can see here, I sp almost split arrows pretty much. Um, so those are all kill shots. If you're at that distance, you know, compensating for that, for that wind. Those are all kill shots. Now, it gets harder when the uh, winds are sharper. When I, mean, when I mean sharper, I mean, as you can see, the winds right now. wind right now is pretty much pointing to the west side so it's pretty much almost almost straight ahead for me so the wind is actually um, within my favor for shooting wise not for hunting for hunting this is very bad winds unless you're facing this way then it will be very good winds. but we're gonna go ahead and uh and do this little test right here so 30 meters Let's move back about 40 meters, which is the next realistic, the most realistic uh, that you can go. All right, so here we go. Now we bring up our sights. We're at one. And we drilled it. So not too bad. 161. Not too bad there. 118. No wind whatsoever. 135. 115. Not bad either. 149. Not bad. Alright, so pretty much between one, one and a half, maybe even two. You're pretty much you're pretty much gonna hit um, that on so these right here are some that I actually overcompensated but most of them if you guys see were hit uh, that's a kill shot that's a perfect kill shot so that's that's pretty good now let me see if I can uh, if I can do this the opposite way so you guys can see if you guys hear right now you can hear the winds when you hear the wind blowing that hard that's the worst time for you to take a shot. Let me see what kind of distance I am from this. This is 15. That's not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and come over here. And see if we can do this here. Okay, so. This is pretty much 20 meters. So, pointing it. And it's at nine. This is horrible. I would not even take a shot right now. You can see, you can hear the wind blowing. Goes back down to five. One. Goes down to four. So I would pretty much aim there, and that ain't, that that hit actually outside where I wanted to hit. So we're gonna do it again. That's eight. When you shoot with eight. We're down back. We're back down to five. And five thirty-two. Let me see if I'm even hitting where I want to hit because this compensation that we're doing. Okay, so we're hitting here. We're at an angle. We're at an angle. So. Okay, so we're at six here, but the winds, as you can see, they're they're not completely horizontal to us. So we hit there. You, I I hope you guys are, are pretty much getting the uh, the point that I'm trying to make here. Windage is very important when you're bow hunting. I'm at 20 meters again. 
and it's not that bad there you have it it's pretty much dead on again now we're gonna try that at 40 meters and you guys can kind of gauge uh, the wind with your headphones if you have really good ones as well and then you can go ahead, go ahead and use the uh, the other one the uh, the other skill which is to uh, for the uh, for the, the distance so I'm gonna try to do this shot it is at 40 meters gauging my wind wind directions at 7 but it's it's the wind is facing where I'm shooting so the compensation is not really that much now it's at five, so all right. So right there, we hit it. The we hit way to the left, so I let you know. Four, so I would shoot there and see if I got it. Okay, so five. And I got it there. Now we're not we're not doing distance right now because we don't have a, a set target. We're just trying to hit. Okay, that's seven. You, did you guys see where I was aiming? I was aiming here, and at 7, it hit on the ground to the left. So, when you see winds of 7 meters per second, just don't don't even think about taking that shot. Just wait for it. Wait for the winds to calm down, and then find some lower winds, and then take your shot. Look at that. My arrow hit here. That's where my arrow hit with a 7 meters per second shot at 40 meters. 5. And still, it still dragged my arrow. So, that's where it hit. That's where I was able to hit and I was pretty much aiming at the edge of the door at 40 meters. So, you that, that was a 6.8 meter shot. I mean, uh, meters per second. And I was able to hit that shot aiming here from 40 meters that's pretty that's pretty crazy um hopefully this explanation of this um uh skill helped you guys out um if it did please remember uh to give it a like on the video uh subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always this has been Higgsbo. i'll see you guys next time